Uh, PRP, also known as platelet-rich uh, plasma therapy, as you said, is basically an adjunct or uh, an additional thing that we use uh, in, to aid in wound healing. Uh, basically, what it is is it's uh, you take the patient's own blood, you spin them down, you spin the blood down in a centrifuge in order to isolate out the red blood cells from the platelets. You then take the platelets and um, essentially use them either as a gelatin, kind of like a jelly bean or as a spray to augment the uh, surgery that you're doing and aid in wound healing. And how long has this therapy been around? The therapy for uh, PRP has been around for approximately 20 years. It started out uh, for use primarily in plastic surgery and uh, maxillofacial area surgery where they were using it uh, with soft, soft tissue wounds. In orthopedic surgery, it's only really been within the last five years or so that it's been used at all, and only in the last couple where it's really started gaining popularity. And uh, now what kind of injuries uh, is PRP used for? Uh, PRP tends to be used um, as uh, an aid in addition to other therapies very frequently uh, in areas where you're worried about wound healing and uh, not enough blood flow. Um, areas that it's been used for is uh, certain uh, muscle injuries in the leg, um, tennis elbow, um, uh, soft tissue ruptures of either the patellar tendon or the quad tendon down by the knee, Achilles tendon ruptures. Um, it's also used in, in addition with knee surgery when you're trying to fix the meniscus, which is one of the structures in the knee. Uh, and then also in shoulder surgery, it's occasionally used to aid in rotator cuff surgery. Basically, any type of situation where you're doing a surgery or you're worried about an injury not healing appropriately, uh, you can add uh, the PRP therapy to try and help in uh, the healing. Can you talk a little bit about the mechanism of how this therapy works? Essentially, platelets are filled with growth factors and things that have been known to uh, aid in healing and also in the recruitment of other cells in the healing process for quite some time. Um, whenever uh, people get injured, uh, the first thing that happens is it has an inflammatory response, basically a bleeding process. If you get, uh, if you get, that's where bruises come from. Bruises are essentially just bleeding underneath the skin. What the blood does is it, it has platelets in it, and the platelets release these growth factors, and they also recruit other cells. So they might recruit white blood cells or other cells that aid in the healing process. By doing this, the healing process is sped up. Well, by taking the platelets, isolating them out from a patient's blood, and then injecting them into that area where you're doing the surgery, you're essentially giving the uh, body one extra step to try and heal that wound.